Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have none other than my May 2020 bullet journal setup. Now I know these are some really rough times, but bullet journaling always helps me relax and wind and really really take away a lot of my anxiety so uh, i thought i'd uh, do a little video of how i did my spreads for the upcoming month so if you didn't notice already the theme for this month is ribbons i've been wanting to do this theme for a while and i keep forgetting to do it but i'm uh, really excited that i'm doing it for this month it's very pink it's very colorful and i uh, am very excited to do it so the pens that I used for this spread mainly were my Tombow Duo brush pen in light pink, my Crayola Super Tips in dark pink, and then my Pentel Touch Sign pen in pink. And those are pretty much the pens that I used for all of the spreads in this video. So don't worry about it if this looks a little bit too intimidating. I do have a tutorial um, in this video on how I doodle all of these ribbons and all of the little bits of the doodles. And for my title page, I just kind of wrote out May um, with a ribbon and I drew a even bigger ribbon at the top, like a little bow. And um, again, uh, so the way I've been doing the my ribbons in this spread is I've used, um, obviously after sketching them out with a pencil, I use my Pentel Touch sign pen uh, in dark pink to outline it and then use my Tombow Duo brush pen and my Crayola Super Tip to color in the light and the dark bits of the ribbons. This is a really fun little um, theme for this month. Uh, last month I did cherries and that was pretty simple. It was mainly just, you know, drawing out a little red balls and, and stems and stuff. So I wanted to do something a little bit more ballsy for this month. Um, I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit more, you know, intense and more doodle intense because again i'm spending a lot of my time at home as we all are not a lot of it all of it so uh i just you know i've got more time why not put it into uh being creative in my bullet journal And then also for fine liners, I am using my Art and Fly fine liners as well as my Unipin fine liner pen. Um, and then of course my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pens for any other thicker black lines. But yeah, I thought that the May bit had to stand out a little bit more from the rest of the ribbons. So I outlined the ribbons that made up the word May uh, with a black fine liner. And then of course, uh, erased all of my little pencil lines. And uh, just to be a little bit more extra, because it is the, you know, the first page of the month, I went in with my white gel pen to add some little highlights here and there to the ribbons, just to make them pop a little bit more. And that was pretty much it for my first page uh, for, for May here. And then um, before we get into the other spreads, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how I... Uh, sketch out and doodle out all of my ribbons and how I did them all for this video. Uh, the first one that I'm going to show how show you how to do is a loop. So it's always helpful first to draw out the path that your ribbon is going to take. And I do that in pencil. And then I always draw the loop that's going that goes on top first. Uh, and this is for, you know, if it's a loop going, you know, backwards and under and then I just draw out the rest of the ribbon on the other side and just finish out the loop like this. Uh, drawing out the ribbon from the back that's going behind the loop, if that makes any sense. This is very hard to explain, I'm realizing now, but hopefully the visuals will help you. So this is how I draw a loop and then it's just how I draw the ends of the ribbons, the little chopped triangle edge ends. I don't know what the name is. I'm sure they have a name for these, but I don't know it. 
and this is how I draw like a curve um, it's kind of just I don't know just looking at it should be more helpful than me explaining because I'm not very good with words but it's basically drawing a rectangle for the ribbon that then becomes very very thin and then uh, the other way around on the other side uh, from the back and the coloring really is what helps the most when doing these ribbons because it really helps to show which bits are from the back and which bits are on top depending on the um, the shadows and the highlights and whatever so yeah for a little bend like this you'll want to draw the path as per usual and um, I'd show you guys two different versions so the one where it curves towards you and one where it curves um, away from us and it kind of shows which way the ribbon bends It's always easier for you to imagine it in your head first um, Before you you draw it out. It, it can be a bit of a mind twister, but it's uh, it's really fun doing these honestly And then I thought why not just to show you guys how I do like a double loop to showcase uh, both loops and how I would draw them so, of course, drawing out the path first and then uh, going over the first bit so I know where the rest of the loop goes. And, uh, and yeah, and then drawing the ends, and that's pretty much it. it. You really do get the hang of it once you start, you know, getting into it. So, uh, I definitely um, urge you to try these out first on, uh, you know, a scrap piece of paper just so you get the hang of them first. And then I uh, thought I'd show you guys how I draw ribbons and like, you know, the bows that I showed in the um, in the title page there. So you start off with a rectangle in the middle, which is the middle of the ribbon and the bow. And then you draw out the two loops on the side. And depending on the thickness of your ribbon, you draw a, another two lines, one for the top and one for the bottom, as if you were drawing a curve that I showed you guys previously on the uh, in the tutorial. So it's basically uh, a bow is like a, a collection of the things that you've learned on this tutorial up to now. You just kind of mix them all together to make a, um, <laughs> a bow. Then color them accordingly. The backside, the under, you know, backside of the loops are always darker and that will really, you know, enhance the um, illusion that this is like a 3D drawing. And then I thought I'd show you guys how to draw like a really extra over the top ribbon bow like the one I drew in my uh, title page. So it's basically you just draw out a normal bow and then the way that I make it extra is just add extra loopies in the back and then some extra ends at the bottom. It's just that's just how I do it. I just make it look a bit bigger and you know fuller. <laughs> And that's kind of how I just make ribbons look a little bit more fancy schmancy. And then, of course, line it and color everything in. Um, and I was thinking of doing this theme in like a blue or baby blue or something, but then whenever I thought of ribbons or bows, I always think about the emoji, which is a bright pink. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go full ham and do pinks for this. It can be a little bit of a challenge to uh, figure out which bits should be darker and which bits shouldn't. So if you, like me, uh, added in a little bit too much of the dark color into the ribbon, I uh, go into the darkest bits around the, the middle center bit of the bow and add some little hints with my fine liner uh, in black just to help, you know, separate the areas of the bow. And that was it for our tutorial. Next up, we are doing my monthly spread. So in the top right corner, I again wrote out May in a ribbon fashion, um, but in a thinner type ribbon, just so it doesn't, you know, take away from the rest of the spread. And then I decorated most of the empty bits of the page with like ribbons curling here and there and just kind of making it look um, like there's just ribbons dancing around in the air and just, you know, making it look real, real pretty. And then I drew in my uh, little boxes for my month uh, over here. And for anyone who uh, wonders, I always do five by five boxes for this.
and then of course wrote down the days of the week for each for each column um, and then I started coloring in the ribbons and using the same Tombow Duo brush pen I also went in and added like the titles for my monthly tasks and my YouTube video planner area over there on the right. I just kind of drew out two little ribbons uh, that are you know just there just kind of sprawled there. This uh, theme kind of obviously takes up a lot more time just because there's, you know, different colors and a lot of coloring in between the lines. Uh, but it's definitely a good theme if you're, you know, if you're wanting to just get busy with something <laughs> and help time pass by. I think it's pretty fun and I really enjoy it. So then I drew out my boxes for my monthly tasks and my YouTube video planner area. And then I drew a little light pink a uh, little circle on each one of the days of the month to then write in the days of the month. And that was it for my monthly spread. Very cute. And next up, it's time for my habits and my expense tracker. Again, I kept these quite simple, especially because, you know, this month I'm not really spending that much money because I'm not really leaving the house or doing anything. So um, I just try to keep it quite simple, nothing too crazy. Um, my habits tracker, I am keeping with the same theme of, um, you know, coloring in the, the shape of the month that we're on. And then basically every day that I fulfill that habit, I will just draw in a little black circle on that respective day. I really like the way that it looked uh, in last month. In last month when I did this, I like the way it looked in the end. So I'm just going to go with it again. It worked nicely. And uh, yeah, so I did that for all nine of my habits that I like to track. It's a nice number. Then, of course, on top of each uh, habit tracker, I'm going to write in what habit I'm tracking. And for that, I just use my Pentel uh, Touch Sign Pen. Just keeping everything real pink and bright and intense. And then using a black fine liner, I went in and drew a little simple ribbon uh, to just outline the habits. And then I had that little extra open end bit at the bottom. So of course I just added a little ribbon flourish at the bottom there. So then for my expenses tracker, I didn't do anything crazy. Just drew out my expenses tracker chart here where it's, I write in what I've spent money on, if it came in, if it went out, um, and uh, just uh, kind of added a little stripe of pink at the top where I'm going to write my titles, which are basically just description and um, a plus sign and a minus sign. And then I use my Tombow Duo brush pen in light gray to add a, to basically shade in every other row. And this just helps me track, um, you know, when there's a lot of things on a page, it just kind of helps me track what is what. And that was it for my trackers. Next up is time for my double spread, which is my brain dump. I get a lot of questions about what I use this page for, and it's basically just whatever I need to take note of, this is where I do it. Uh, this is where I do all my lists, it's where I plan out my YouTube videos, it's where I plan out everything in life. I take notes of everything, you know, grocery lists, whatever you want. This is where I put down everything. Um, it's a brain dump. And yeah, I just did a little border here with um, a ribbon just to kind of border up the page. And I, I kept it simple, but it still looks so cute. And I feel like this uh, spread kind of like for some reason reminds me a lot of um, Sleeping Beauty, like the original Disney Sleeping Beauty film. Don't know why. I think it's just the pink ribbon. There must be a scene or something in that movie where there's like a pink ribbon. And it reminds me a lot of that for some reason. Maybe it's the colors I chose, but uh, yeah, it's giving me very like original Disney vibes and I quite like it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> It's also giving me very much Barbie movie vibes, which kind of makes sense because I've been re-watching the Barbie movies with my housemates when we decide to have some wine in the house. And it's honestly such a good time, you guys, I recommend. So all these inspirations are coming through in my bullet journal. <laughs> Uh, 
I also added some little highlights with my white gel pen, uh, just because, you know, why not go crazy? And that was it for my brain dump, ready to be filled with stupid lists for stupid things. And next up, it was time for our weekly spread. So as uh, nothing was really happening these days because of lockdown, I uh, am not going to be doing an event, like a weekly events area on my weekly spread. There's just no point. So I just kind of used the area where I normally would put my events as my weekly tasks area. And then on the right side, I'm just going to decorate it with some more ribbons. Shocking, I know. So I use my Tumble Duo brush pen to just um, draw out some ribbons coming out from the middle of the double spread. Then this is where I'm going to write out the days of the week uh, as like it's like a little header situation. Um, and then I just drew out a little ribbon sort of uh, bow text box over there on the left I don't really know how to describe this but I just kind of drew out a little box on the left and this is where I'm going to be writing all of my weekly tasks and things I, I need to get done that week um, May is also when all of my university deadlines are going to happen digitally obviously as everything is um, these days but yeah so I'm going to have a lot of stuff to get done in the early days of May so yeah need a lot of space for my tasks and um, yeah even though nothing's happening I still need I have a lot of work to do from home and because yeah as I said because I have this leftover space on the right I just kind of decorated with yet some more ribbons of course uh, and then I just wrote out May and week 4 to 10 over there on the top right and left corners And after finishing shading in my ribbons, I just drew a little uh, header outline for May uh, over there on the corners. And that was pretty much it for all of my spreads this month. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a flip through of the spreads that I've done for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do recreate these, do show me on social media. I love seeing you guys' recreations and I hope the tutorial helped. I hope everyone is staying healthy, staying sane, and staying at home. I hope everyone's doing okay. Try to keep your mind off things and try to stay creative. I love you all very much. Have a great, great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.